assalamu alaikum my name is harsha i am department of uh, biotechnology my name is Aisha. I am from the Department of BS Biotechnology. My presentation topic is organic Rankine plant. Uh, first of all, uh, all, I will define the. Uh, I will explain the definition of organic Rankine plant. An organic Rankine plant, also known as an organic Rankine uh, cycle uh, power system, is a type of power generator system that utilizes the principle of the Rankine plant with an organic working fluid in instead of water. The uh, Rankine cycle is a thermodynamic cycle that converts heat into mechanical work, commonly used in steam power plants. In organic Rankine plant, the working fluid used in organic compound with a lower boiling point than water. This allows the organic Rankine system to operate at lower temperature, making it suitable for utilizing low grade uh, waste heat or renewable energy source such as geothermal, solar, or biomass. The organic uh, Rankine, uh, the organic Rankine working uh, fluid has a high vapor pressure at the operating temperature, allows it to vaporize and derive a turbine to produce mechanical work. Uh, next, we move to evaporator. In an organic Rankine cycle, in the plant, the evaporator is a critical component responsible for vaporizing the organic working fluid. It is where heat is transferred to the working fluid, causing it to change from a liquid state to a vapor state. The primary function of the evaporator is to extract heat from a heat source, which can be thermal fluid, got gas, or renewable energy source, such as geothermal, uh, geothermal uh, or solar. The heat source is brought into contact with the organic working fluid in the evaporator. Facilitating the heat transfer process, the evaporator typically consists of heat exchanger, which is a device designed to maximize the contact area between the working fluid and the heat source. The working fluid follows for the evaporator while the heat source passes over for the heat exchanger to use. Uh, as the heat is transferred from the heat source to the working fluid, the uh, fluid absorbs the thermal energy and undergoes a phase change from uh, liquid to vapor. Uh, next, we move to turbines. A turbine is a mechanical device that converts kinetic energy of a moving fluid into rotational or mechanical energy. It consists of rotor assembly with blades uh, or wheels that are designed to capture the energy of the fluid and spin the rotor. Turbines are widely used in various industries and application of power generation, propulsion, and mechanical override. There are different types of turbines, including steam turbines, gas turbines, hydroelectric turbines, steam expansion turbines, wind turbines. Uh, next, we move to condenser. A condenser is the context of electrical engineering and uh, uh, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning system. The first device used to transfer heat or remove heat from the system by condensing or gas or vapor into a liquid. Uh, in air conditioning and refri a refrigerator system, the condenser is an initial component that helps remove heat from the refrigerant. It is typically located at the high pressure side of the system, following through the compressor. The condenser receives high pressure, high temperature refrigerants vapor from the compressor, and its uh, primary function is to release the heat um, absorbed by the refrigerant during the cooling process. The condenser accomplished heat transfer by utilizing the heat exchange process. The hot refrigerants vapor enters the condenser coil or tube, and other air or water is used to cooling medium to remove the heat from the refrigerants. The refrigerant release heat energy, causing it to condense into high pressure liquid, the cold liquid refrigerant that allows expansion value to continue on the refrigerator, uh, refri uh, refrigeration uh, cycle. Mm -hmm. uh, air cool condenser are uh, use ambient air as a cooling uh, medium. The condenser accomplished heat transfer by utilizing a heat exchange process. The hot refrigerant vapor enters the condenser cooling or turbines, and air water is used to cooling medium to remove the heat from refrigerants. The refrigerant releases heat energy, causing the condenser into high pressure liquids uh, and air condenser or ambient air or the cooling medium. Next, we will move through the uh, pump. A pump is a mechanical device used to transfer fluid uh, from one place to another by increasing. The pressure or flow rate. Uh, uh, flow rate. Pumps are used in various industries and applications. Uh, the main purpose of a pump is to overcome the resistance or heat of the fluid and provide uh, the necessary energy uh, to uh, move it. The energy can be imparted to the fluid through various mechan mechanisms such as mechanical force, displacement, or electromagnetic. Pumps can be categorized into different types based on their working principles, including centrifugal pump. They are an uh, uh, in, 
parallel that relay, uh, rotates, uh, creating a vacuum at the center. A positive displacement pumps and therefore uh, pumps. Advantages and disadvantages of uh, organic rankine in, in plants compared to conventional stream turbines. The organic rankine cycle is a thermodynamic cycle that we used in organic fluid as a working fluid instead of water, as it conventional stream turbines. The organic rankine cycle has some advantages and disadvantages compared to conventional stream turbines. Let, let's explore them. Advantages of organic rankine cycle compared to conventional stream turbines. Low temperature operation, fluid flexibility, uh, flexibility. Uh, organic uh, ringine cycle paint at a lower temperature compared to the conventional steam turbine. This allows the use of low grade heat source, such as waste heat for industrial process, geothermal energy, or solar thermal energy, which may not be suitable for conventional steam turbines. Uh, fluid flexibility. Uh, organic uh, ringine cycle can utilize a wide range of heat source, including biomass, solar thermal, geothermal, and waste heat from various industrial process. The flexibility enables the generation of electricity from diverse and renewable uh, energy source, uh, reducing uh, reliance and uh, fossil fuels. Environmental benefits, scalability. Uh, uh, the, there are the major uh, of the organic ringine uh, cycle uh, disadvantages of organic ringine cycle. Is the uh, disadvantages of organic uh, compared to conventional stream turbines? Lower efficiency, higher cost, complex designs and maintenance. Um, uh, low efficiency. Uh, a system typically have lower thermal efficiency compared to conventional stream turbines. This is due to the low temperature range at which organic ring and cycle operates. Organic working fluid used in the organic ring and cycle have lower uh, boiling points, resulting in lower energy conversion efficiency, higher cost. Organic ring and cycle system can be most expensive to implant, uh, implant, uh, implement compared to the conventional steam turbines. The cost of organic fluid specialized equipment and maintenance can be higher, especially of smaller scale applications. However, cost effectiveness can uh, improve with larger scale organic and cycle uh, installations and advancements in the technology. Uh, the working principle of the organic ring time cycle can be summarized as follows heat source, evaporation, expansion, condensation, pumping. Uh, the uh, working principle of organic fluid in the organic cycle involves their behavior during the evaporation and condensation stages. Uh, here's how organic fluid work with the uh, within the organic uh, organic uh, organic ring time cycle. Um, cycle evaporation, expansion, uh, condensation, expansion. Uh, 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 ex evaporation expansion. Uh, the uh, organic fluid enters the evaporator is liquid and is posed as a heat source, typically a low grade heat source. The heat source, uh, uh, the heat from the source is transferred to the organic fluid, causing it to evaporate. Expansion. The high pressure vaporized organic fluid is directed to the turbines as the vapor passes through the turbine to expand and does mechanical work by driving the turbines blades. Transition. After the expansion in the turbines, uh, the, the, after the expansion in the turbine, the low uh, pressure vapor exists and enters the condenser. In the condenser, the vapor is cold and undergoes a phase transfer vapor to liquid. The cooling process causes the organic fluid to release heat, which can be transferred to a cooling medium. Expansion. The high pressure vaporized organic filler is directed to a turbine. As the vapor passes through the turbine, it expands and does mechanical work by driving the turbine blades. The organic fluid loses pressure and temperature during the expansion process, but continues to drive the turbines and generate rotational energy. Explanation of the organic uh, uh, ring kind heat source. In organic ring cycle system, the heat resource refers to the source of thermal energy that is used to generate power through the organic ring process. The heat resource is typically a low grade heat source, meaning it has a relatively low temperature compared to high temperature heat resource. And its conventional steam power plants, organic ring system are designed to efficiently utilize such low grade heat source, which may or otherwise to go to waste. 
Now, here are some examples of heat source commonly used in organic Rankine cycle. Waste heat from industrial processes, uh, evaporator, expansion, condensation, pumping, and and the last, uh, this is the application of organic Rankine cycle. Hydrocarbons. Uh, this is some few examples. Uh, hydrocarbons are a class of organic compound compounds are composed of hydro hydrogen and carbon atoms. They are commonly used as organic fluid in organic and kind cycle system due to their favorable thermodynamic properties and compatibility with the organic and kind process. Here are some types of hydrocarbon organic fluid used in organic isobutane, propane, propylene. Uh, Halocarbons are also known as haloalkenes or halogenated hydrocarbons. Uh, are class of organic compounds that contains one or more halogen atoms. These compounds are used for numerous applications, including refrigeration, air conditioning, solvent cleaning, aerosols, and fire extinguishing agents. However, the use of some halocarbons are rise concern due to their environmental impact and potential for ozone depletion and uh, global warming. Here are some common types of halocarbons, chlorofluorocarbons, um, hydrochlorofluorocarbons, hydrochlorofluorocarbons, and perfluorocarbons. Perf Siloxanes. Siloxanes are the class of organ uh, silicons compounds that consist of alternating silicon and oxygen atoms in a linear or cyclic structure. They are also known as polysilicons or silicons. Silicons are uh, siloxanes have a wide range of application due to their unique properties, including high thermal stability, low toxicity, toxicity, electrical uh, electrical insulation, water repellency, and chemical resistance. Here are some key aspects and applications of siloxanes, silicons, fluid silicon sealants and adhesives, uh, silicon elastomers, personal care products, application of organic Rankine cycle, geothermal source. Organic Rankine system can also be used with low temperature geothermal source with available heating not sufficient to generate steam directly. In these cases, the geothermal fluid is used to heat the organic working fluid in the organic Rankine system. Allowing to the power generator even at low temperature, this enables, this, uh, enables utilization of a wide range of geothermal source, expanding the potential for geothermal power. Geothermal heat pumps, Geothermal. Geothermal heat pumps. In addition to power generation, ORC technology can be applied in geothermal heat pumps for heating and cooling purpose. Geothermal heat pumps utilize the relatively constant temperature of the earth to extract heat in winter for space heating or transfer heat, heat back to the ground in the summer for cooling. Biomass. Biomass refers to the organic matter derived from plant, animals, and other living organisms. It is a renewable energy source that can be used for various purposes, including heat and electricity generation, as well as production of biofuels and biochemicals. Here are some key aspects and application of biomass. Feedstock biomass and biomass conversion technologies. Benefits of biomass, uh, waste management, uh, local energy production, potential for biomass, residual utilization, solar energy. Solar energy refers to the radiant light uh, and heat energy emitted uh, by the sun. It is a renewable, uh, renewable energy source that can be harnessed and converted into electricity or used for heating and cooling purpose. I heard the some key aspects and applications of solar energy, photovoltaic thermal uh, <clears throat> solar thermal system. Uh, concentrated solar power industrial processes. Solar energy can also be used in various industrial processes to reduce reliance or on traditional energy source and lower carbon emissions, solar heating and cooling, uh, solar drying, solar distillation. Uh, integration of or, or organic refined cycle with other energy system like combined heat and power and industry heating. The introduction of an organic refined cycle system with other energy systems such as combined heat and power and district heating can enhance overall energy efficiency and provide more comprehensive and sustainable energy solutions. Mm -hmm. Combined heat and power, um, uh, organic refined cycle with conflagration, 
benefits uh, benefits uh, heating uh, um organ recurrent waste heat recovery benefits uh, designing and optimizing an organic recurrent cycle involves several key distillate consideration to ensure efficient and reliable performance um here are some factors that contribute in design and performance of organic recurrent system selection of working fluid heat source selection heat exchangers uh, heat source selection, heat exchangers, expansion device, selection of work, fluid uh, working, uh, fluid pump, uh, performance, optimize the performance of an organic cycle, can be optimized through various measures, including thermodynamic cycle analysis, heat recovery, system control, and optimization. Based heat recovery, um, Advanced cycle configurations, integration with other energy systems, advanced control and monitoring. Uh, advanced heat exchanger designs and materials are crucial for improving for the efficiency and performance of organic and kind system. Here are some advancements in heat exchanger designs and materials, compacted exchangers, printed circuit, uh, heat exchanger, advanced heat exchanger designs and materials. Uh, advanced uh, heat exchanger designs and materials are crucial for improving and efficiency performance of organic and kind cycle. Uh, our system there is also some involvement in heat exchanger designs and compact, compact heat exchangers, printing circuit heat exchangers, uh, super uh, critical carbon dioxide, hydrofluorine lefines, uh, ionic liquids, uh, nano fluids, magneto -cal caloric fluid. Improvement in system controls and operation. Improvement system controls and operation play a crucial role in exchanging the performance, efficiency, and safety of various systems. Uh, here are some notable advancements in this area. Automation and uh, um, uh, digi digi digitation, advancement control al uh, algorithms, energy management systems, uh, human machine interference, uh, cyber, uh, cyber security, uh, auto automation and uh, digitation. Integration of advancement automation and our digitation technologies such as machine learning, artificial intelligence, and the internet of things has revolutionized systems, controls, and operations. These technologies enable real-time monitoring, predictive maintenance, adaptive control algorithms, and optimized systems operation based on data analytic learning to improve efficiency, reliability, and reduce time. Advanced control algorithm, uh, algorithms, the development of uh, sophisticated control algorithms such as model predictive control, fuzzy logic controls, and adaptive control has enabled more precise and dynamic control of complex systems. These algorithms can optimize system operation and by considering multiple variables, constraints, and objectives, leading to improved energy efficiency, stability, and response time. Energy management system. EMS is a comprehensive approach. Uh, approach to monitor, control, and optimize energy consumption and generation in a faculty or of system. It involves real-time monitoring of energy usage, load for costing, demand response, and integration of renewable energy source. EMS enables better co coordination of energy resource, peak load management, and improve overall energy efficiency. Human machine interference um, for detection and diagnostics. System utilize sensor data algorithms and machine learning techniques to detect and diagnose faults to ano uh, anomalies in system operation by continuously monitoring K para parameters of FDD. Uh, systems can um, identify performance deviations, equipment malfunctions, or efficient uh, inefficient operation. This allows for timely maintenance actions, improve system reliability, and reduce energy waste. Cybersecurity. With the increase in connectivity of systems, cybersecurity has become a critical aspect of system controls and operations. Advancement in cybersecurity technologies and practices has protect systems from um, unauthorized attacks, data breaches, uh, malicious attacks, robo um, robust uh, authentications, and techniques and instruction detection system ensures the integrity and safety of the critical um, infrastructure. Infrastructure shifter. Organic green kind technology and significant potential for the of the energy transition towards renewable and sustainable 
or delicate time cycles uh, has significant potential contributions to energy transition towards renewable and sustainable energy source. Renewable and sustainable energy source. ORC systems are particularly well suitable for harnessing low grade heat source such as geothermal, uh, solar, uh, thermal biomass, and waste heat and converting them into uh, usable electricity or mechanical power. What are some key points highlighting the potential organic or uh, cycle technology in the energy industry? Efficient utilization of low grade heat. System can efficiently utilize those temperature heat source that would otherwise go to waste. They can operate at lower temperature compared to traditional steam based bring kind cycles, making them suitable for a wide range of applications. Renewable energy integrations. ORC system can be integrated with various renewable energy sources such as geothermal and solar thermal. They enhance their overall energy conversion efficiency by capturing and converting heat that would otherwise go to waste. ORC technology maximizes utilize of renewable source. Distributed energy emissions, carbon emission reduction, energy efficiency enhancement. Uh, system or scale uh, scaled and modular, allowing for uh, decentralized energy generation. This enables to utilize local heat source and reduces transmission losses, making ORC technology suitable for distributed energy systems and off grid applications. Carbon emission reduction. By replacing fossil fuels based power generation with our system polluted by renewable heat source, carbon emission can be significantly reduced. Our C technology enables the utilization of waste heat from industrial process, which helps industries reduce their environment footprints. Uh, energy efficiency enhancement uh, ORC technology improves overall energy efficiency by recovering heat that uh, would otherwise uh, be dissipated. Uh, this enhances the overall uh, performance of energy intensive process and reduces the need of uh, additional primary energy source flexibility and adaptability. System can be designed to operate with different working fields and adapt to varying heat source and conditions. The flexibility allows for the optimization of system performance depending on the specific application and available of heat source. Developing and uh, deploying organic link and cycle system for widespread use comes with both challenges and opportunities. Developing and uh, deploying organic or in kind cycle uh, system of widespread use comes with both challenges and opportunities. Let's explore some of the challenges. It starts very well to uh, working field selection. A system depends uh, on the consistent and suitable heat source for optimal operation. However, the availability and characteristics of heat source, such as waste heat or geothermal uh, uh, energy, can be significantly developing adaptive power systems capable of uh, accommodating or requiring heat source conditions is challenged. Uh, working fluid selection the choice of uh, working uh, 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 greatly impacts the performance of an ORC system, identifying the developing working fluid with favorable thermodynamic properties, environmental compatibility, and safety characteristics are challenging. Uh, ba balancing factors like efficiency, cost, and sustainability is focused in the selection of appropriate working fluid. Working fluids like a choice of working fluid impacts the performance of an ORC system in a different developing working fluids with favorable thermodynamic property. Environmental compatibility and safety characteristics is challenging. Balancing factors like efficiency, cost, and sustainability is focused in selecting a preferred working fluid. System efficiency and cost optimization, scale and integration, uh, renewable energy integration, industrial applications, uh, uh, distributed generation. Uh, retrofitting uh, existing in, uh, uh, infrastructure, research and development policy support, and cost optimization. Giving high system efficiency while keeping costs are uh, reasonable is uh, challenging in our ORC system development, improving heat transfer, uh, reducing internal losses, and optimize components with performance improvement is necessary for commercial availability. Uh, scale and integration system uh, need to be need to be appropriately scaled and integrated into various applications and industries. That requires addressing techniques, challenges related to system size, control strategies, and thermal management, ensuring 
a seamless integration with existing process or grid uh, infrastructure uh, can be complex. Opportunities, renewable energy and integration. What is to provide an opportunity to integrate renewable energy source more effectively by utilizing low grade and waste heat from renewable source such as geothermal, biomass, and solar thermal. What system can contribute to a more sustainable and diversified energy mix? Industrial application or the system can find significant application in various industrial sectors, capturing and utilizing waste heat from industrial process can improve overall energy efficiency, reduce emissions, and enhance the sustainability of industrial components. Distributed generation or C system. The system can be deployed by a decentralized and distributed energy generation. They can be utilized in remote areas as a part of microgrid system, enabling energy sets and reducing the dependency on long distance power transmission. Retrofitting existing infrastructure. Retrofitting existing uh, uh, infra infrastructure with ORC system provides an opportunity to uh, improve. Um, Energy efficiency without major modification by utilizing waste heat from conventional power generation, uh, industrial process, or other source. Power system can enhance the performance um, of facilities. Research and development. Continuous research and development effort in ORC uh, technology offer opportunities for advancement in system designs and working value development and component efficiency. Policy support. Supporting policies, incentives, and regulations, and encouraging the adoption. Adoption and development of ORC system. Government uh, initiates promoting renewable energy, energy efficiency, and uh, decarbonization and create favorable conditions um, uh, and technologies development commercialization. Thank you. Uh, thank you.